is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite bald lady and this time i don't have my little munchkins running around driving me crazy you guys have no idea how hard it is to film while my kids are awake and yeah i got my little one asleep and i got the other one at grandma's house so i'm gonna take advantage of this right now this is the idea so I thought they were really cute and I posted them on my Instagram stories and I actually got an order and I'm really excited to make them. I know they look really simple. I am super fast at crocheting too. I haven't done any crochet videos but I'm really fast at them so I thought I would just throw this little tutorial out there for you in case you guys maybe want to try it or you just want to see how fast I get down. Okay so I have these pumpkins already made. And those I'm going to use to teach you how to make the stem and how to make the little leaf, I guess you would say, or vine. I think pumpkins actually grow on vines. So I'm going to teach you how to make the stem and the vine for this one. So those are already done. So what you're going to be needing is some nice orange yarn. Now you can use whatever colors you choose. Remember, it's a pumpkin. You want it to be fun. You can literally do whatever you want with it, but I am using orange. We're going with the traditional pumpkin. Um, I got some green for the little vines and some brown for the stem. <clears throat> All right, so I'm not going to say this is for beginners because I don't think I can really, uh, how can you say, teach a beginner level. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but here we go. <clears throat> So you're going to take your hook and everybody holds their hook however they want to hold it. I hold my hook like this personally and I usually hold the yarn in the other hand like this. So I take my hook and I go one, two, and then I take my middle and my thumb finger and I hold this last one together making a little loop and then I pull it through. Okay, that would count as number one. Then we go two and three okay so now you have three chains then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close this off so i'm gonna go to that very first one and i'm gonna insert my hook there and pull the yarn out now i'm gonna close it there and then i'm going to chain two and I'm going to get the little tail that I started with and I'm going to move it out of the way because I don't want that to be, I'm going to need to pull this to close off the center. So I want to pull it out the way where you can't see it. And then I'm going to go under and I'm going to, in the same big hole, I'm going to, ah, in the same big hole, I'm going to pull it out and I have three uh, yarns on my hook now. And with this, I'm going to pull another yarn through the third hook, through the second hook, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to pull it through both. So I'm going to do half double crochets all the way down. I love doing half double crochets. I feel like double crochets are too big and single crochets are more for like babies. So I always do half double crochets. And I'm going to count that first two chains as one uh, well, in Spanish, the way my grandma taught me, she would say they're little monitos, like little dolls. <laughs> and so I'm going to say this counts as one little monito and this one counts as two monitos. And then I'm going to go under, go back into the same hole. And I'm going to pull through and that's three. And I'm going to go all the way to 12. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm standing up in front of the ring light right now and I am feeling out of breath already. <laughs> um, so I'm apologizing in advance for the heavy breathing, but yeah. So how many we got? We got two, four, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 so I do 
one dozen, one dozen, 12 guys, 12 monitos, or half double crochets if you're going to be technical with it. Now, I learned how to crochet from my Grammy and my abuelita, and they both speak Spanish. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull that first yarn all the way through. And when you do that, you're tightening the center. You see how you're tightening the center there? Um, so you tell you tighten the center and now you have your little ring. You see, it looks just like this one. See, this one has a ring inside in the center. This is the center of your pumpkin guys and you have 12 little stitches. Now the next row, you're going to increase because obviously if you continue to do 12 and 12 and 12, it's going to bunch up and just look funky. So you need to add on the next row. So we're going to chain up two and that counts as one little double crochet. So we got one. Never forget the first uh, hole here, okay? So this is two. And then on the next one, I'm going to do two in the same hole okay and then you're going to continuously do that so double single and then double and then a single a double a single, a double. Okay, now one thing I wanna tell you guys is do not be afraid to stop and count again and again and again. I count the same project maybe a thousand times before I'm done with it. I am really uh, kind of a perfectionist when it comes to them. So we know that since we're adding one per every, uh, six what is it one per every uh six of them okay we're adding six there you go sorry guys you guys already know so um we add six so six plus 12 is 18 so your second row here is gonna have 18 you can continue counting them and counting them as many times a lot of people they want to just get done fast. They rush through it and they don't count. And then they go back and they realize that they missed one. And that's the worst part because then you got to frog the entire project. Well, that's on some people because um, I do notice that a lot of people just kind of just go with it. They leave it. They say it's their signature or whatever. But in my opinion, you should be definitely... Um, making sure that everything is, you know, on point. So here we have our second row. All right, so here's the chain in the middle here, and this is the side that we're working on, okay? Now again, you're gonna chain up two, one, two, and then you're not gonna forget that first one, right? Now put that in, and then you're gonna add, do doubles again. So here we go, we're gonna add two into this one, And then you're going to add uh, a single, a double, a single, a double, a single. A double a single a double a single a double single
Oh no, this was a double. See? Everybody messes up. So... All right, so here we have four, the, we're on our third row, we just finished, and we're on our fourth row. These are fairly simple to make because they are only four rows, guys. So you see this one? You see the first three rows are a perfect circle. But once you get to that last row, you wanna make this type of indent, you know, we have here to make them more pumpkin shaped. So this is what we're going to utilize that ugly part for uh, where you started is where we're going to put the stem. So this to me doesn't really matter. If you were going to leave it open like this, obviously this is not presentable. But if you wanted to, if you're going to add something over it, I'm going to go ahead and use this side to put my stem. Remember that, okay? Okay, so from here on, you're going to do as you were doing on all the other rows. So the first one, cause we want to add and we want to give it that nice pumpkin bump. I put two and then a single and then two and then a single and then two And then a single, and then I want to do two, and then here, after you do this two here, you're going to start doing the single, because you want to make that uh, decrease here, right? So we're going to use, see this is directly across would be this one. So we have a single here and then a double. And then you can see this is half the pumpkin now. Okay, so now that we've gotten halfway, as you can see here, halfway, we're gonna utilize these three chains or places here to start to decrease and make that bump okay so you're gonna do one that's a single that bam a single then you're gonna do one of those placeholders that i told you where you just pull one yarn through and then on the second one you're gonna do it again you're gonna pull one yarn through so you can see where it was double and then it's a single and then it's two of those placeholders and then you're going to want to go up again. So this on this one, you're going to do another single and then another single. But this one you can do a half double. So you see it's a single and then a, a half double. And then again, you're going to add your doubles because you're still increasing the size of the pumpkin. So you still need to add some in there. You're going to increase but you, if you want to make that little, that dip, then that's how you would do it. Now the next one's going to be a double. A single, a double. A single, a 
Tabo. All right, so we're getting here. We have a placeholder here, which is where we started. Okay, and then we have a single here. So before you get there, this is going to be another placeholder here. And this one's going to be a single. So you have your double here. You're going to go ahead and do a single, which means you're going to pull through all the loops. And then you're going to go in for that second one that's just a placeholder. So you see you have your pumpkin. Okay. But here you have that other dip going on. Okay. And that's where you're going to add your stem and you're going to cover wherever you started. So you see. And that's basically all there is to it. It's just the three center ones that are circles. And then on that last row, there's a little bit of work there. But once you're all done with that, you can add your stem. Okay, so we have our little pumpkin friends here. They are so cute. And we're going to work on the stems. Now, this is going to be a whole other obstacle, guys. Trust me, this one gave me a run for my money. But since I don't give up, I literally am the type of person that if I find a pattern that looks super hard or just super intimidating, I don't care. I'm going to try it. Okay, so now the stems are super twisty and super annoying. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you want to add one stem or two stems, but let me tell you that these things had me really scratching my head. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope I can do them on camera because I am working behind the camera. So technically I am working through the camera screen and I can't really see what I'm doing. So let's say, I would say for how tiny this is, I'm going to say we want 15, um, little stems little people so here's one okay so here's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so i got 15 little stems right now the next thing i'm gonna do it's gonna hold on to that first hole there okay so I hold on to it and then I'm gonna add one and two okay that's gonna count as one there and this is number 15 so I'm gonna go ahead and come in and do a regular old single just as if you were doing a regular single crochet now the next thing you're gonna do this is where it gets really really confusing okay so the next thing you're gonna do you see how it looks kind of like a braid here okay so we always go usually for the first one we always go through that back one right so now with this one with the second little stem that you're gonna make you're gonna go through the front here okay and then you're gonna pull through and then you're gonna pull all the way through okay now we twisted the chain. Now we're working with the back of the chain. And on this next chain, you're gonna go through the back loop, okay? I'm telling you, these things are very tricky. You're basically um, putting the next one, the next stem keeps going into a different side. So, it, so it'll be able to do that little twisty effect. So here, we just got that one. So now we're going to stick it in this loop here. And then we're going to continue doing that and you'll see what happens. Okay, so if you're still with me, which I really hope you are, this is what you should have ended up with. Now, let me tell you, these things are so hard to do. I don't even want to show you how to do them because I feel like I'm not the best at them. But basically, this is what we want it to look like. And we're going to attach this here. So you see, it's going to look like your little pumpkin has like a cute little vine kind of thing going on. And you could even attach it down the middle here. So, you know, you can have it on both sides. But it's really all on preference. 
this is basically my little my little vine that we're going to be working with all right guys and without further ado it is time to make our stem and attach our little vine so let's go ahead and do that now i have yarn that is smaller so i'm going to be changing hooks but i believe if you were to use the same size yarn with the same hooks i think you'll be okay i personally just have this brown yarn laying around and i'm going to use this one but it's totally fine to like i said have fun with it mix and match and use whatever yarn you have available i'm actually thinking about making one of these into a jack-o-lantern um but obviously that's for another time because this is an actual commission that i need to finish but uh i was thinking these would be so cute as little jack-o-lanterns all right so i'm gonna be very honest with you this is the first time that i've ever done these so i am not going off of any type of pattern that i read i just seen the picture and i went ahead and did my own thing and i'm pretty sure you can tell by the fact that i don't have it all down correctly but like i said this is all for fun so this is a little trial and error i am going to go ahead and do the stem how i think it should be done but again there is trial and error and it might be that the way that i do it the first time doesn't work out i might have to take it apart so i just want to let you guys know that from the beginning so I went ahead and I pulled the yarn through the first where I want the stem to start. I'm just going to say that where I want the stem to start because I'm not going to say through each one. This is just the one on the first knot. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with a single crochet. Then I'm going to go in with another single crochet. And then I'm going to go in with another single crochet. Okay, so that's looking kind of like I want maybe one more. Just to kind of give it... Uh, yeah, I think I want one more. Okay, so let's do another single crochet. That is a total of two, four. We have five single crochets. Now, on when I turn it around, I'm going to do the stem a little, give it a little bit of height. I'm going to skip that first one because I don't want to make five crochets on the second row. I want to make the second row with less single crochets because you want to give that form of it decreasing or getting thinner. So that's what we're doing here. And that last one, instead of putting a, a single crochet in it, I'm just going to pull the yarn through. So you see what I did? Instead of making the second row with six, I made it, or with five, I made it with four. So I decreased one of the single crochets. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to it. So here's one, and then I'm gonna skip that first one again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that second one in. And then I'm going to go in and just pull the string on the last one just to kind of uh well i could actually end it there i think that looks like a cute enough stem um but no i want to put one in here just to finish it off right so here we go and then i'm going to pull the yarn through and pull it up about two inches and i cut and there we are so i have my pumpkin with his little stem and now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to hide the stem the top stem part because you don't want that sticking out why would you want that sticking out so the way that i do that is i usually put the crochet i mean the hook into the hole the first hole and i pull it through and I actually weave it all down the braided part. I'm sure everybody has their own ways, but this is what I do. I just kind of weave it in, weave it in here, all the way down, okay? And I might cut that later, but I'm not sure because I still want to add my vine and I'm not sure where I'm going to stick my vine. But what I do know is that I need to get rid of this center string here. 
and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and weave it in and just weave it in until you've gotten pretty far from where it's originally attached from. And I just cut it. I honestly don't have any method to it. I kind of just weave it in the most I can where I know that it's not gonna come loose. And then I just go for a cut. So that's weaved in and there we go. So we're done with the first uh, end. Now you have three ends here and we have our vine. And I think what I'm going to do, honestly, is I think I'm going to, I don't know if I want to put the vine in the front here or if I want to just kind of, yeah, I think I'm just going to like put it in like that so all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull the that in and then pull it over here okay so there we got our little vine sticking out it's pretty cute and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna stick that vine in here the second vine it's all about hiding it and seeing how you're going to you know so I'm gonna tie it in here and then I'm going to actually pull these green ones because I want that to be nice and secure right I don't want to just have it kind of you know I want it to be secure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull it back through. And then I'm gonna weave them in here. This way. Oh, I think this is so cute. I think it's so adorable. All right, guys, so this is my cute little pumpkin when it's finally done. Look how cute she is. I love it. Um, I actually looked up pictures of real pumpkins and they have long little vines. So I liked the longer vine look. I thought it was so cute. I'm gonna work on these, but off camera because they really do require a lot of paying attention. So that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe if you're not a member of my little familia. And look at that, isn't he so cute? I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later.